By March of 1955, only four months from opening day, the work was frantic but also creatively spontaneous. To set the stage for this great adventure, a simple but effective exterior would need to be constructed. When Disneyland first opened, the overall Fantasyland area was decorated in a medieval theme. The dark ride exteriors were fairly similar. The early rides had ticket booths and entrance canopies reminiscent of the colorful striped fabrics of a middle-aged carnival or jousting event. Originally, nine boats were operational and a tenth boat would be held on reserve. Each boat would carry between two to three people. It was seven feet long and four and a half feet wide. The overhead track lifted each pirate ship two feet higher and threw an open window into the Darling family nursery. Within a space of 16 feet, guests were shown the children's bed and Nana's wooden blocks on the right. <laughs>